I just saw the message on Telegram. We need a signal for this madness. Uh, no, you don't. The market decides what the signals are, not me or anybody. Um, as you can see, we uh, traded outside of this wedge, and we still have not hit this sell zone. Let me make something very clear. Um, there is no in-betweens when you do TA. Uh, you have a plan, uh, you observe, you plan, and you execute. And I'll repeat that over and over to you. Um, support point, it retraced 61.8%, which somebody noted in the chat room. Very good. I'm sorry, I've been uh, gone for uh, a few days uh, with uh, the holidays and family and all of that. So um, uh, I will be back fully tomorrow, but I'm doing this in the meantime. And uh, the next level up right here is probably going to be in this low 99,000. But I think we're just going to keep spiking all the way up here. Um, uh, after we touch the support here, I do not think you're going to have anything to, to see structure-wise with your head and shoulders uh, that a lot of people are all pointing to. I, everywhere I go, I see the inverse head and shoulders, and they're all expecting this. I don't think that's going to occur. I think what you have here is a reduced uh, up move that double-topped kind of right up here and you know basically pulls back, retraces, and now it's going to go for this. And, you know, how do I go over and say to myself, hmm, you know, judging by volume and all the different, uh, uh, how do I go over and do this reduced thing and, and not go for the head and, inverted head and shoulders? And, well, that's not going to happen. And the reason why I've seen this happen in markets before is everybody's expecting everything. So they're, they trade away from the herd, the market price trades. So that's the nature of price. That's the way it works. Um, so it's not likely to occur. doesn't mean it won't, but it's just not likely. But we'll have to see how we, uh, if we get the momentum to get fast above here. Now, what tells us that the likelihood of us going above uh, this sell zone is possible? And I'm going to go back to Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum went way beyond its sell zone. And, you know, I was just looking for this, and I got a sum in the... In the mid to upper 30 range on some of the longs that I was holding from the 90 and 80s area buys that I had. Um, so, you know, that's a, a, a big uh, deviation upwards. Uh, that shows extreme, um, the market's thin. Uh, there's no sellers to be found. That bodes very well for future price increases. Um, you just don't know. And, uh, you know, this is something that, so short term, uh, things look very positive. Now, we can also see that with other issues like BCH, uh, Bitcoin Cash, uh, supports all the way down here, resistance up here. It went above. Look at that. It went all the way to the 230s from, uh, you know, the logical areas would be here and maybe here, but it went beyond that. So there's an extreme parabolic. Uh, upward and that's because the market's thin a lot of stupid people sold and um, you know they got out of their crypto with the, the last downturn and they just gave up um, and that's good that's what you want to see to give you uh, higher volatility and ranges um, now let's see some other ones Litecoin which I'm also fully out of um, was a great trade and again it, it went above and uh, you know anytime it goes Two is great, but if it goes above, that's positivity in the charts, and that's why you're getting these big spikes and so forth uh, right now as, as we stand. So this is all positive, and again, focus on Bitcoin. I will be looking to sell what I have left of it above, at or above this sell zone in the 43, 4400 range. And I might even hold a little bit longer because I think it might get... Uh, even higher up here. So we'll see. Um, we'll let the charts develop. I don't make the rules. I don't, you know, I observe, I plan, and I execute. And right now, I am long Bitcoin and holding. There's nothing to do. Uh, if it goes back down, I, I would not expect it to uh, uh, do an inverse head and shoulders. Uh, its structure is just off. Um, I, I would, if it does go back down, I, that's going to likely go under the lows, uh, in my opinion. And, uh, I give it the greater probability of going 
at and above these highs um, from what we've seen from others. And uh, you know, that's one of the things we use. We observe what other pairs do to give us a rationale of what's possible. And yep, so keep that in mind. That's my thinking. I hope you guys have a great week. I'll be uh, active the next few days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very busy um, uh, putting numbers together and so forth. So uh, we'll stay tuned for that next. And other than that, have a great weekend. And I hope you enjoyed your holidays. <laughs> Alrighty, bye.